All right, guys, there it is. It's always nice when your project starts actually looking like what you want it to look like. So this video is going to be about mostly my circulation tanks. But first off, I think I'm going to go over um, just a little bit of stuff about what I've done to this. And I don't think I showed you very well in my previous videos. So I know I didn't show you putting in the door or putting on the lid or anything like that. So I'll just start from the bottom and go up. So what I did here for the door is pretty self-explanatory, but I think it looks pretty cool. This was the top of the barrel that I cut out for my, um, that was part of the lid that I cut out for my uh, hopper to fit through. So it's just got these two latches on here, the two hinges, and all it does is that. And as you can see right here, this paper towel has that fire seal silicone underneath it. And I'm attempting to kind of make like a gasket by putting fire seal silicone all the way around it and then putting a paper towel on top of it in order to not make this stick to my door. So hopefully that kind of made a gasket. It worked pretty well in my last gas fire. So going up, you saw my shaker grate. I just need to put some grease right in there to make sure it's completely sealed. Put some grease on the inside too. Um, I also sealed up this by squirting a bunch of uh, that fire sealing uh, silicone under there and then adding more screws all the way around and then I'll come up here this is my air intake I welded my air intake in as you saw in my first video it's just as it was but I just welded that in right there all the way around and then added this on here this is my way to adjust it that way I can make a lot of air come in or I can close it off completely and it seals up very tight going up to my lid which I don't think I've showed you at all it looks a lot like flash 001 USA's lid basic hinge with a bolt going through it and also made the uh, silicone and paper towel gasket right there just another piece of a barrel for the lid going down there and then let's see if I can get this see how it's bent right now well as soon as you put this pressure on here from the spring it flattens out so it is nice and tight and sealed with the spring holding it down all right now to get into the main part of the video what I've done since uh, last video is I've added this linkage onto here basically it's all just two inch um, exhaust pipe and as you can see it's going the gas is going to be sucked out of here first off there's nothing inside of here this just leads straight into the edge of the tank into a hole right here and the gases will get sucked down into the into the tank and then we'll get let's be in the tank and we'll get sucked out of that so uh, come through here and all this is at a slightly downward angle that way anything that condenses out, be it water vapor that condenses, tar, and then all the ash and crud that gets caught in those liquids, can run downhill, 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 into my first circulation tank. And then uh, where it goes into the side, as you can see, it goes into the side, so the air circulates around in there, uh, hopefully dropping out ash, getting it stuck to the liquids on the side of the tank uh, that have condensed out, and then into my little crud catching jar which will be hanging down there we'll get sucked up this middle pipe which is also just two inch exhaust pipe and they'll be into this tank right here this tank will allow the gases to expand and cool a little more uh, also allow things to, to fall out of them such as ash and stuff like that they'll get sucked into this pipe and into this which is the main topic of today this is a uh, circulation chamber what it does is the air comes in right here spins around and then or the pipe comes down to about right here spins around that pipe also spins around this the entire thing and the ash catches on uh, the walls of this tank and then the air or the gases get sucked back up out this pipe and into the radiator so my the bad thing is about this is when I built it, I built it to the wrong plans. Uh, I'll show you some plans that I drew over here directly from the FEMA manual, otherwise known as the 
Handbook of Biomass Downdraft Gasification or Gasifier Engine Systems. It's a PDF. You can just look it up online. I've uh, referenced it before in my videos. Uh, this is supposedly the, I guess, uh, plans for the most efficient circulation tank. Uh, all this is based off of the diameter. So all these measurements are based off of what your diameter is. This diameter right here of this cylinder. So I'm going to read them off. This should be like a rectangular prism tube going in. It's 0.2 diameter by 0.5 diameter. And they should uh, go into this chamber, which is 1.5 diameter tall. And then this cone right here should be 2.5 diameter tall. And then they'll get sucked back up this pipe, which is 0.5 diameter wide and sticks down inside this chamber, 0.5 diameter. So don't know how, how else I can make it uh, more simple, but there's the plans. Maybe pause it, look at them if you want to build one. And I'll show you how I built it real quick. There it is right there. All I did was pretty much see this fan shape right here. I just cut a fan shape out that was like 11 inches long and then rolled it over into a cone by beating on it with a hammer around a pipe. And then right here was this rectangle right here. I rolled that into my um, cylinder, which I put the, which I welded the bottom of the cone to, or welded the top of the cone to, just as you see it right there. So I guess uh, my next video might be a test run if I get a blower. Um, my next video will definitely be when I put my radiator on and maybe if I have a filter by then, but when I have my radiator all together and uh, maybe filter, maybe blower, maybe test run, but definitely radiator. So uh, stay tuned for that. As always, comment, rate, subscribe. Got any questions, I'll try to answer them. And thanks for watching.